I call Jamie Strange. A point of order, Ian McCubbin. Yeah, I just wanted to raise the point of order with respect to this um, bill and remind the, um, the, the House that the Dairy Industry Restructuring Amendment Bill No. 1 passed in the time that we've dealt with in, uh, the number two bill on the committee stage. And I thought that was pretty amazing because that was quite a substantial piece of legislation. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank, I thank the member. Call Jamie Strange. Uh, uh, Madam Chair, as we've heard, dairy obviously plays a key, a, a key role in New Zealand. And this bill amends the Dairy Industry Restructuring Act 2001 to prevent the expiry of certain provisions in May 2018. The Dairy Industry Restructuring Amendment Bill aims to prevent the expiry of, 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 of those provisions around, uh, to provide certainty for the dairy industry about the regulatory regime. And there's three key words here. Number one is continuity, number two is consistency, and number three is, is competition. And we've certainly heard a lot about competition, and markets thrive under competition. And that's what this bill attempts to do. Dairy makes up approximately 40% of New Zealand's total primary sector exports. New Zealand's largest dairy processor, Fonterra, as we know, was established in 2001 from a merger of the two largest dairy cooperatives and the New Zealand Dairy Board. And it was merged and, and it was created under a Labour government, and it's something we're certainly very proud of. The dairy Fonterra provisions are due to expire on the South Island on the 30th of May 2018, hence the reason for this bill. This bill will allow a more strategic focus to be taken to issues facing the dairy industry, including, for example, environmental issues, as, as we've heard from the member Gareth Hughes, land use and how to achieve the best outcomes for farmers, consumers and the New Zealand economy. The dairy was passed in 2001 to manage Fonterra's dominant position in dairy markets until sufficient competition emerged, and we've heard a lot about that around that aspect. The DERA, the, the DERA therefore contains automatic expiry provisions that were triggered in 2015 in response to Fonterra's reduced market share in the South Island. And if we look at DERA in the South Island, my family once had a dairy farm there, and it was the largest producing dairy farm in the South Island, only had 300 cows. But um, certainly this, this is, a, this is a, an example of the Labour Party standing up for farmers in the South Island. The DERA regulatory provisions on Fonterra in subparts 5 and 5A of part 2 provide a means of promoting efficiency that would ordinarily be provided through competitive market pressures. No. And so just coming back to the three key points there I mentioned around number one, continuity. So it provides continuity for farmers, provides certainty for the market, uh, around consistency and around competition. It, uh, it, it allows for checks and balances around Fonterra. So, Madam Chair, we, uh, we certainly commend this bill to the House, and we're not going to take too much more time. And uh, thank you for listening to contributions.